I'm in the darkness, aren't I? I'm in the shadows. What do you suppose that means? I want to cue this up so that it looks nice and right. Let's make it look really good for everybody. How is it? How does it look? I like being in the darkness. Boy, I didn't think I was going to spend the first few minutes of this video queuing up the way it looks. Okay, I'm going to minimize it. Drink my water. I'll tell you a story. The story is about a boy who became a man without doing anything. Concerned with eye contact. I've been making less eye contact because um, I was talking to Kevin at uh, on July 7th in uh, Washington Square Park. Kevin's YouTube address is Sad Vipran, which is another language. It means I think truth, perhaps something like that, something interesting. <clears throat> He was talking about predators, and you know what? I don't like that it was in the darkness. I'm gonna move the light forward a little bit so it's not so dark. This is better. So you like the dark background? By the way, I'm not in the basement. I'm in my apartment, which is on the ground floor. I'm in the living room, um, dining room. Dining room slash office. We're talking about eyes and how predators have their eyes in the front of their head so that they can see what they're attacking. And prey have their eyes on the sides of their head so that they can see around them to avoid being eaten. And uh, some creatures have eyes that can see both the sides and the front. Humans are built the front. We are predators. And... Uh, I think that eye contact is a form of predating, of preying on people when you look at them with your eyes. If you make eye contact with someone, if you lock them with eye contact, you can draw them into you. Maybe at the same time they're drawing you into them. Literally, you're drawing, gravitationally drawing them towards you just observing them and engaging someone, them to un observe you at the same time to create uh, a, a dual reality in the moment where each person is focused on the other in the moment. It empowers the moment, it empowers the reality of it, and there's a, a, a more power, an extremely powerful gravitational force if you're looking at someone in the eyes in real time. And that's why people look down and look away when you look at them. But what's interesting is recently I've been looking away because I find that too much eye contact is, uh, it, it becomes imbalanced. If, if you're drawing people in all the time, then people start to forget that it's it's their job to draw people in. It's your job to draw people in. And I'm just sitting here looking at the camera, talking about all this stuff. I don't want to be like a center of a group of people. I like that every person is the individual in the group and every person is like the center of their group encouraging the other people to leave and start up their own group eye contact is too I could make eye contact with everyone all the time 
I don't know that that's a good idea, though. It's balance, you know? It's like saying the truth all the time. It's, it's imbalanced. Well, it sure is tempting. This video is really boring. Man, it's like 4... It's 4.58 a.m. I've been up all night. I took a nap for two hours earlier. Went to a party. At the standard downtown up on the roof with a pool. <sighs> Just like to give you a little bit of my life. A little bit of who I am. I've been talking to Amanda a little bit more recently. Which has been good. I just want to make a video that's 20 minutes long. I just want to keep going. I haven't been talking to Rebecca much lately. I left her a few messages. I said what I said the truth. I said what I thought. Oh, Rebecca, you might be watching these videos. Hello. Well, That's cool. I, uh, I was really pushy and got really selfish and lost track of friendship. It was my own fault. I just let it happen. I was a learning experience. I had to go through it to get to where I am now.